And I'm delighted to say Kelly J joins me now. So where do we begin, Kelly J? I guess we should talk about Emily Bridges first. Quite an extraordinary development over the past 24 hours. British Cycling still want Bridges to be able to compete, but it was the UCI that actually stepped in. Yeah, it's, um, look, it's just ridiculous. It's, it's just nonsensical that we have men in women's sports. Full stop. I don't think we need a sporting body even. I think it just shouldn't, it shouldn't be a thing. Nobody should do it. Nobody should think they can do it. We don't need to have an inte intellectual, theoretical conversation about men and female bodies. We know that men don't belong in women's sports. That's, of course, they, they don't. No, it just seems like common sense, doesn't it? You can only compete in the biological against the biological sex in which you were born. To me, that sounds like common sense, but it's quite terrifying when you have an organisation like British Cycling seemingly taking their marching orders from Stonewall. Yeah, Stonewall really need to be totally um, unravelled from everything where they have made catastrophic and dangerous decisions on behalf of uh, all from children to sports, to government, to police, to NHS, everywhere. So tell me what happened at the Leah Thomas swim meet, Kelly J. Keane, because you have gone viral across America as a result of that conversation. Were you at the event because you were so angry about this Leah Thomas spectacle? Well, I went, I do a Speaker's Corner event in London um, every month uh, to encourage women to say the things that we're no longer allowed to say on the modern public square, which is social media. Um, and we decided to go and do one in Washington. And then, so I did one outside the White House and then we went up to New York and I did a talk and I did a little protest outside the United Nations. And I was fortuitous enough to, for all of this trip to be timed with um, the Leah Thomas scandal. And the, look, the atmosphere in that room and the atmosphere of the people walking in is that they were just so grateful that they were able to say it. it you know, you could almost feel people expelling breath when they saw uh, Save Women Sports. <clears throat> Um, and people saying, actually, no, we know this man is a cheat. Uh, this is totally unfair and unjust against those girls that have spent probably more time swimming than I've spent sleeping in the last 10 years. You know, their whole lives have been about training for this race. Um, and it's just a really opportune moment because American sports, college sports like this is filmed. There is always media attention. And so it just seemed like a really good place to make a very um, strong point that uh, men don't belong in the water with women in races.